Hi, I'm Dora and I'm a curator and I work with the National Library of Scotland's international collections here in Edinburgh. I have chosen to talk about an item, a manuscript item from the library's collections which I've been working with a lot lately. It dates from 1797 and I've chosen it because it has had a lot to teach me about uh, learning from other cultures and of um, friendships between countries as well. It's the diary of a Scottish woman called Henrietta Liston who was brought up in Glasgow, married a gentleman called Robert Liston who was the second ambassador to the United States after the end of the War of Independence. And she went with her husband Robert and lived in the States for three years she had no experience of political life or of America, American culture before she left Scotland um, and arrived there quite unprepared for the kind of high level political culture which she was going to enter. She wrote a lot of letters back from Philadelphia where they were living to her uncle in Glasgow and she talked about entering a vortex. So I think it had quite a powerful impact on her. But three years down the line, she has really entered into the society and she has become very close friends with George Washington, who was President of the United States. And she attended his resignation dinner. And I've got this diary here, uh, her personal account of the resignation of George Washington. And what Henrietta liked to do was to discern character. She liked to write about the people that she met talking about their political character as opposed to the, their personality. Some people thought that Henrietta was quite a dangerous woman because she became so close to the most powerful man in America. But I believe that their, their friendship was genuine and she wasn't kind of a spy for uh, the British government. Um, what I wanted to do was to read an extract of her diary because I think that's the best way to get a feel for her language, her thought pattern, um, the kind of words that she uses and the elegance of her uh, writing as well. So she says, I had as usual the gratification of being handed to table and of sitting by the president. So we're at his resignation dinner on the 5th of March now. Had I never before considered the character of Washington, I should certainly have joined the general voice and pronounced him greater in this voluntary retreat and in the resignation of power over an immense country than when, having by his conduct as a soldier been the principal means of rendering his country independent, he became, by the universal suffrage of the people, its ruler and director. I should have repeated with others, Washington is the first of men, wise, great and good. Whereas he is, as I now view him, in truth and reality, honest, prudent and fortunate, and wonderful to say, almost without ambition. These words are less dignified, but no less strong. So it's been a privilege to work with the words of somebody as intelligent as Henrietta Liston and as kind of devoted to recording her experience, even though she perhaps didn't realise what a landmark era she was living in. There's one more extract which I'll choose to read. Uh, it's it's a perhaps looking at a human relationship as opposed to Washington's political character, because Henrietta was in the States when George Washington died and she went to visit Washington's widow. And this is what she says about that visit. Washington was more a respectful than a tender husband, certainly. Yet we found this excellent woman, Martha Washington, grieving incessantly. She repeatedly told me during the few days we had it in our power to stay with her, that all comfort had fled with her husband and that she waited anxiously her dissolution. And indeed, it was evident that her health was fast declining and her heart breaking. We parted with much tenderness on all sides, never alas, to meet again. A few months after our departure, 
we heard of her death. So that's the kind of thing that um, Henrietta experienced and that has been saved and recorded and treasured in this library and that we're hoping people will be able to use as a kind of way in to history and a way into um, a culture which has been recorded in textbooks but perhaps lose, has lost some of its immediacy because of that.